gobernador quite, quite la pacha y ahí. Yeah, yeah, like an, it's, it's not possible to have an intermittent. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It can't be continuous. It can't be continuous. The positive and right, so the same one. So we're yeah, I've traced by the work. I'll find where it is. That's where we do the last one. Yeah. I dare say. You see it now. Alright. Um. You want to take it off? No. We have to bring the cardinal. Now we come to positive? Yeah. It's still sharp in the ground. Hold on one second. Alright, so it's not the water coming out of the Arctic. Make a bit not hard fun, yeah. But not later. Give it back to him. From long time? Yeah. This one there. That one there. And I was sitting around last time and I was playing music in the sun. It was already a face. Solid. Oh, yeah. Is that a nice drink doing it? We had last night. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, Which one it was? Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the Hamden Great Hall Hamden, yeah. which is 60% alcohol by volume. Yes. Yeah. So it's 3% lower than white. Okay. Yeah. Why I love the West. Oh, well, this the White is my friend. Different strokes for different books. We all kind of like That's the same right. thing, you know. So yeah. we're a gentleman in my favor. Guru at first the distillery. Yeah, the same. Drink water, but no water. Yeah. 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 It will be beeping. Yeah, yeah. It will be beeping now. Alright, so put this now on the, the wire that goes to the battery for me too. Yeah, yeah, positive or negative? Double bar. Positive. 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 Right? Uh -huh. Give it back. Uh -huh. Good. Good? Yep. So the battery. No, the alternator. Oh, alternator. 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 Because when it did start up this morning, it was at 11.2. Right. It went up to 12, you know? Yeah. So yeah. that means the battery, so that means the alternator was charging then? Yeah, yeah but if yeah. Are, those wires were shorting, if those exposed wires were shorting, to burn the exciter. Yeah. yeah. So you put a piece yeah. of tape on it, right? Because of yeah, I'm going to tape it up. Okay. All right. So what do you want? Light, light. Light. Alright, so you want to use the jump and start the car then? It would be good to start the car before before time. Before time. Before time.
guys were seeing. Um, all right, all right. This is a brand new chassis that was built by Nico Racing. Um, it's, uh, it's called a Salamander. So it's a total different chassis than the SR8 that we're running. So we put the suspension, the shock stand now on the top position rather than when it was in the, the upright position. So as you know, it's a new chassis. So we're just trying to work it out to make sure that it's, um, it's well, it's supposed to be better, but then again it's a new thing so you have to be like testing because sometimes it might go supposed to be better it end up to be worse so it where it is today we are very comfortable because tommy did like a 116.4 today which is very very good um, so and we know that he has another one second or so around the s's because he's not coming up as fast as we would want him to come up so i know it have to do with the adjustment on the chassis again so we're working on that now to get that to find about that one one second there so we should be in the 150 um, so that would be good we'll be in on parity with everybody so so far this you know we're happy with the chassis um, we're running the the 2.7 um, radical V8 um, so that's the engine that we got in the original SR8 so we just transfer everything back over to the to the Salamander chassis. Really the inspiration is because Javier um, who makes and Nico who makes the Salamander because they came here when we were running the SR8 because we actually bought the SR8 from 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 Nico them back in 2019, um, early 2019, and then they came to Jamaica help us out with it with Christian, and then we we end up just form a relationship and up it's like a bond with them. So when when Nico was started to drive in the car now, um, Javier, you know, for the year that he spent 2019, he, he kind of figure out the track more. So he wanted to go back and make another chassis that would cost them for really the Dover to give it more travel you know based off of what the information and the data that he got from being here for the year so pretty much it, it looked like it working but I'm not going to say it's fully 100% whole so um, yeah, right now we're happy with it so it's really Nico and Javier um, decided that they want to go with a, a custom chassis for themselves. You know, I always watch, well, I'm, Doug and I have been very good friends for a long time, and we watch Tommy from him doing karting because uh, my brother Craig used to coach Tommy also uh, with Ryan. And it would, you know, from that early time, I, see, I saw that him really have the discipline, you know, and it, um, and him listen, and him is also very, um, him, him very fast. And they're very adaptive, and that's the key. So when them, when you can work with them, you you, you wanna tend to give them the chance, you know. So we say, okay, dog, let's give him the chance. Um, since Nico, them eventually gonna send over another race car over. So we say, okay, put Tommy in, here, and then just groom him from here onwards, you know. But so far, we we proud of the kid. He, doing good you make all of us proud so okay. we just, just want to keep him um, in focus okay. uh, you know and we should be up in the morning with them uh, cool. ready to go out again for yeah the man. last one for the day yeah man already again and watch see the difference what was the difference? I made a mistake. On the first. The <laughs> what, no but what was the actual was difference on the first one? Right so you were four about four inches away from the apex on the second one. Right, so you, you, you went back to the apex. So what does that tell you you need to do? No. What do you, forget about being more consistent. What do you need to do in that corner to be faster? Or more. So you need to turn that corner. You need to turn that corner into a sweep up more than an acute. I think we're, from a team of a point of view, absolutely excellent. We're so glad that I gave Tommy this opportunity. The running with this car, it just keeps getting better and better. Tommy was able to do a time a while ago that is unforeseen with anybody that has ever dropped in a Radical for their first time on Nova. And uh, he actually broke my fastest track time actually today. So, we we'll go home and give him a few lashes, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that off here. <laughs>
<laughs> you are a pro. Yes, man, absolutely. Well, 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 well. well. And thank you for coming here. Yeah, man, no problem. I'll see you. Yeah, so it's a pretty good first outing in the Radical or Salamander, as they call it. It's built by Nico Castillo out of Colombia and his dad. And Dwight Lewis was also involved heavily in building it and getting it here in Jamaica, especially. Um, we did my first test yesterday. I only got about 10 laps in the car though because of our alternator issue. And now we got the alternator, put it on the car, came out here on Sunday, Sunday and did our thing. You know, we did a 16.5. I don't know if anyone else has said it on camera yet. Yeah, so we did a 16.5, which I think is a good time to start out. Good base for me. The fastest time I think of anyone who has come and done their first run in a radical here at Dover. Um, so it's a good, good starting point and we need to work on that, get it down to the 14s that Senna is doing and the 15s that Colin is doing. So we see what we can do. We're also on the medium tiles, so room for improvement there, even with those tiles. I mean, I hear it's like 5 or 6 tiles, tiles alone. So we're definitely in the 15s come Easter Monday, but we want to be down there in the 14s with Senna for sure. Yeah, I mean, for the first outing in the car, I think both the team and myself work pretty well together. And just to go out in the car, getting comfortable with it, I mean, I've never driven a Radical at Dover. I've obviously driven at Dover for the past two years and gotten comfortable with the track. But driving at those speeds, going 200 kilometers down the street is a whole different ball game. Completely different than going 150 or 160 and braking at the same point that you were when you were going 150. It's a big, big difference to get used to and carry that speed through the corners. Prefer, um, <laughs> you can be I can't, I can't, this is Civic though, I mean the Civic give me a championship, this don't give me anything yet, but it's going good so far, I mean if we can go out there and win the championship this year, I, I can say for sure I prefer this car. Right. So huge thank you to my sponsors who are on board for the year already, we have Tequila Oro on the car which is owned by Dwight Lou, we have Miracle Corporation coming with Amsoil, VP2, 24 car there, I mean, those guys have come on strong this year again, since I've started racing they've been with me. And we have also have a new sponsor, Grab and Go. They have the convenience stores with the gas stations around the island. And we have Spanish Port Hotel, S Hotel in the Bay, and Spanish Port Hotel. Two amazing hotels. You can go and spend a night for the weekend. And I have to say a huge thank you to ATL Automotive coming back on for the year again for 2023. Hopefully we can get another championship with these guys on the car as we did last year in the Honda City. Alright guys, thank you. Here we go.